Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to your love read. This will be from the 11th of September through the 17th. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to use some grounding cards uh, to start off with, okay? And then we are going to uh, overlay some tarot on this, but uh, we'll get a pretty good idea. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for all the love and the likes, subscribes, guys. Uh, you are the top channel uh, out of my uh, ones that I do, so I do appreciate you so much. Thank you. Uh, and stay tuned for the, the moon reads, because those will be coming out too. So make sure that you subscribe, like, and uh and, and 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 note that because then you'll be you'll you'll get some sort of indication about when I uh, when I actually upload okay especially because those come in in and out very very quickly all right so at the bottom of the deck we get passion so I feel that you're passionately moving forward in your love life all right so I feel that you, it, it's it's about time guys it's all I mean you you've had passion you know come out you know, all the time I mean you, you're full of passion you're a fire sign but I do feel that there is some sort of uh, uh, you know, fire is the passion here um, as you move forward in a situation. So using your fire energy, we'll, we'll dive a little bit deeper into this as we go through, but let's take a look in terms of the tarot and what comes out. Um, I do get some sort of, uh, there could be some sort of communion between two people coming together here, okay? Um, I do feel that, that maybe there is some sort of bigger picture that uh, is coming into um, vision at this moment. Okay. Um, because I get the Eagle here and this tells me that maybe once, once what was fogged up, um, you know, now is becoming clear. Okay. Um, wow. You're being asked to what, what ignites your flame, Sagittarius? What ignites you? What is, um, when you feel like devoid of passion, what's missing in your life? Because it's it, there's an absence of fire in the belly, and it it, it uh, you know something that makes your heart skip a lot faster, and you want this, all right? Uh, it, it's not just something that comes from the outside of you; it's the intensity and feeling that comes within that it's expressed, all right? So um, that's what's coming into play, okay? So it, it this is about it's so powerful it motivates you to act, and uh, and to, I mean it's not just. Uh, you know, focusing in on passion romantically, which is one way to experience it, but that limits the meaning. It's about there's a lot of broader possibilities for you and and ask yourself the truth of what it is that you're passionate about and, and find a way to es express it. Because I feel that something is coming together right now. Okay, something is coming together uh, that, uh, I don't know, I, I feel that, that right now that there is an opportunity for you to see the bigger picture in something, okay? Uh, this is, um, yeah, I feel that there is something that's coming full circle. I feel that there is a the highest noble spirit that is soaring, that is encouraging you in some sort of way, especially in your love life. Like something's unfolding, okay? Um, this is communing with life. You're communing with life with the ego that's giving you a bigger message, okay? And so that it is about, it's it's emanating some sort of big message. You're coming in communion. Get out in nature, guys. It's going to help you uh, and, and do some sort of meditation because I feel that there's something that's coming here. The eagles make contact through their eyes and for, by just showing up. And this is about not... Uh, you know, you know, the, 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 this is about seeing a bigger picture, communing with life and the vitality of all that you are. And what's crossing you is a lotus flower. You're just, this is about a blooming, a blooming, something's coming into fruition. Something's blooming. All right. What else? Oh, it's success. There's the success. It's shown up in your love rate. This is having confidence, success, and victory. You've made improvements. You've used this passion within yourself to commune within yourself and to unfold with the lotus flower coming through. And you have some sort of success that is happening here. Wow, guys. I mean, it's like something new is in blooming. There could be love that is blooming. There could be you that is blooming, of course, as well. But I, I feel that there's an opportunity for you to come together an unfold of unfolding of something. Give me more. 
after deceiving of the mind, after some sort of conflict of the mind, you're coming out successful. Now, you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so you might have air in your chart, but this is being in control of the mind to overcome the deceit of the mind, the conflict of the mind with the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, there was maybe some sort of conflict. Now, it could be with that person or perhaps with uh, your thinking. What do we get? Talking. This is conversing more. There is a, a message arise. There's a text call or email. Or, or maybe you're hoovering over someone or someone's hoovering you, uh, you know, that wants to talk, all right? It's about love, self-love, unconditional love. There's that passion coming through here. Passion, it says, affection and attraction between you and another person. Uh, yeah, after some sort of heartbreak or, or of the past, all right? It doesn't have to be this person you're currently thinking about. It could be in a previous person or this could be deceiving of your mind, all right? Uh, give me any more information on this that might want to come through for you. Uh, what do we get for Sagittarius in their love life? Ah, politics, taking off the mask. Uh, taking off the mask of trying to be ordinary because you're extraordinary. Quit suppressing. This is no longer suppressing the transformation that is unfolding, that is blooming for you here. Ooh, I like this. You know what? What I get, what you need to focus in on is the full moon. Now, we don't have a full moon in the month of... Uh, well, the next full moon takes place on September 29th, and that is going to be in Aries, all right? So fire energy. But uh, yeah, this is a, some sort of completion that is coming underway. Now, you could have some sort of completion in a situation. There's some sort of full moon completion. Um, hmm. Maybe that this is also about, um, uh, it's about a different, uh, uh, a lunar cycle. This is about... Um, Taking pleasure knowing that whatever that you've been working towards in love or in your life is coming to a full full circle. It's coming full circle for you here, okay? So this is feeling of contentment and satisfaction with what you've done. It's like, oh, I just want to take a deep breath for you here because I'm feeling take a deep breath. And, 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 and really, you've reached the point... You know, take a really deep breath and then just where you're, where, you're, where you're pleasantly full in your breath and then just let it go and release to relax afterwards. It's important for you to relax because the stage of completion has arrived and you put into work into something and something has come to full cycle. Oh, let's take a look a little bit more what this is for you in your love life. Oh, the toxicity. You cut out some sort of toxicity and bondage of the past, guys. Capricorn energy. Fantastic, guys. Or anything that held you in bondage or where there may be some sort of an addiction. Give me some more on this devil energy. Yes, yeah, something was hidden and it, you just, you didn't know what it was, but then you're, but you're on a new beginning. It's about letting that go. You've been awakened in some sort of way. There's been some sort of awakening in your love life in some sort of way. Wow. Uh, anything else that comes through? Let's take a look what we get. Oh, there's a sense of forgiveness. That This is about forgiving. Maybe you're forgiving yourself. This is unconditional love too, guys. This is unconditional love. This is a being wrapped in unconditional love. Uh, this is the crown chakra. You're forgiving someone or someone's forgiving you. So this is all about... Um, this is the amethyst. This is all about amethyst. That you're being protected. Remember to forgive others. Um... You know, you never forgive others. You forgive yourself for loving those who have betrayed you. And it's a time for personal evolution. You have gone through personal revolution in a, in a, in a connection or situation or in your life as it pertains to love. In your uh, strength position, the rebirth coming through. Nice, guys. A beautiful rebirth. It's a lucky rebirth of transformation. All right. It's almost like a, a, it's almost like a spring equinox, you know, here coming through. But I feel here that this is about, like, this is about moving on and transforming with a lucky transformation. You're very, there's an owl, there's a peacock oh, with an owl. It's an owl. Uh, you know, it's, you're not jumping towards anything. You've got a rebirth there. You've, you've gone through some sort of a, a, a sage um, a, a, a kind of a wisdom here. Um, You've gone through some sort of passage that you thought was never, ever, ever going to come to an end, but it has. And you're on a new beginning here. So this is like making a return. 
It's it's coming forward. It's like you're coming back home, but in a new way. And you're returning. And like the earth is rejoicing. And all the animals and all the growth is rejoicing. And you're sweeping away the cobwebs that kept the light from you. It's, it's, it's now nature emerges and all these animals start coming out is what I'm getting here. You emerge. This is a rebirth. You're experiencing a rebirth after a challenging time. And uh, you're ready to emerge. You no longer need to... You've got a new sense of freshness and newness, all right? I mean, I, look at guys, listen. Sometimes uh, birth can be painful, right? You know, especially like in childbirth before it comes out and it's like all renewed. You have been renewed in your love life in some sort of way. What else? You've made some sort of discovery and synchronicity. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I do get, you know, being grateful and in gratitude for this renewal. Whatever it is, it brought you gratitude and abundance. And I get the sun card. Boom! Yes! The sun card coming out, which is all about playfulness uh, coming through. Um, it's an 11 card, uh, you know, master number. You've mastered something and now have come full circle. Yeah, it was worth waiting for. Divine timing is that, is that uh, you know, play in your love life, and this was worth waiting for. Now this is like, uh, now you've got the power to move forward. This is the power, and you're using your power um, uh, in, in terms of moving forward, like lightning, right? So I feel that, um, I feel that there is an opportunity for you to to move forward. Lightning strikes. This is the moment. Uh, this is the moment for you to move forward. All right. Lightning strikes. You've got the power to move forward. Interesting. This could also be here that, uh, that in nature, you know, the, uh, lightning strikes and you are seeing yourself using your power for the good. And not getting caught up in, 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 in good or bad, you know, decisions or actions. You're tapping into your spiritual force. And you are ultimately, um, you're going to, there's some sort of choice that's coming to you, okay? The force of life is within you. And now you're going to use that. An awareness of your values, your intentions, and to act upon circumstances. And showing up in your love rate. Interesting. You've got the power. To overcome, you know, uh, past, uh, you know, uh, uh, memories. And, and I do get a page of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And you're moving forward calmly, intuitively, and compassionately. Interesting. Give me anything more about this. What do we get in the near future? Yeah, you maybe have had pain or been stabbed in the back in the past. But I'm getting unconditional loving. There's this love that's around you that's unconditionally loving. And I do get for some of you, you're going to be falling in love with someone. Whoa, there's someone that's coming through. Give me a card. I get the card kisses, unconditionally loving, falling in love. Uh, you know, and this is, a, again, what we talked about, the life force. Maybe you're getting advice from someone, but there's your values, tradition, and beliefs. Moving forward, getting advice, uh, and to persevere and move forward. You're following your own instincts, guys, right now. You're using the wolf instinct. Uh, to overcome any sort of disappointment to get the wish that you want. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Yeah, and now you're moving into this beautiful energy, and it's a little bit of a wobble for you so far. You're balancing and adapting after this completion, again, that came through here. And your suggested approach is to get used to the new energies here, all right? And, um, you know, uh, and uh, by not, you know, not focusing on past deceit, you've got the clarity of past deceit. You know why you were deceiving yourself. What you need to know is what? That it's a breath of fresh air. That's why we had to take a breath earlier before, guys. It's, it's now you can breathe. Look at this. Now you can breathe. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for you here. Uh, anything else? You, you can breathe after some sort of heartbreak. Uh, now you're moving forward. There's the river. You're going downstream. This is about moving forward gracefully, calmly, relaxingly, right? You're moving forward, all right? And um, I, I, did get, uh, I do get, uh, you're moving forward. Maybe perhaps you're moving forward 
with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or moving on from someone there. Moving forward after some sort of marriage or moving forward towards marriage where there's travel, change, and movement. Uh, you're moving towards, uh, there may be someone who came through out of a divorce and now you're, you're broken free after some sort of surprise situation. The Wheel of Fortune, things are shifting for you. Wow, guys. Wow. Interesting. And then the next card that I get is Solitude. This is like now that you have got to this point right now, is that you take some time in solitude or in some silence. Maybe you need to do that at this moment, in the morning, afternoon, or e evening. You need a day to yourself that's unplanned and unstructured right now. Because this is saying is that uh, uh, you have passed through your self-constructed barriers that held you back. And now it's best that you observe the thoughts and emotions that just pass through. Kind of watching the emotions go through as you go down the river. You're watching different emotions. You're not acting on them. You're watching in emotions, right? And when you just and 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 this is about connecting with who you really are. And isolation is, you know, isolation is, you know, taking a moment to be in. In, in it, it's by choice. It's not out of fear. Okay. Anything that causes you shortness of breath, it wants you to look into that. Give me more that comes through uh, for you in your love life. Wow. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may, may be different from the person that, uh, uh, that is your usual type. You might have met someone. And it's, it's all about playfulness moving forward. Let's take a look what I get for this other person. What we get? Taking action and moving forward. Cancer energy is coming out. Taking action and moving forward. Uh, give me anything else that may want to come through. Okay? Anything else for this person? What do we get for this person? Taking action, moving forward on faith. All right? After things have been still and, and, and settled for a while. All right? Things have been still. All right? And uh, so now they're taking action, moving forward. I get Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. After taking a deep dive within Virgo energy. Wow, two major arcana. They're making, they're going, moving forward with some sort of action coming through. Uh, give me anything more what this is. Anything more what this is? Cupid's arrow. They're being asked to have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Ooh, hesitation. Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, this is about being lighthearted. Things coming to light. Adapting and changing. Ooh. Uh, give me more for this person, what they need to focus in on. Their groundedness, their stability and security, Aries energy, all right? And their new beginning, all right? Just like you, your new beginning as well. Again, you could have came out of a divorce and got some sort of clarity, uh, but I feel that this person is, uh, they, they've manifested something. They're focused on their structure and their foundation. Could have fire in their chart or, you know, I do, but I do get uh, even earth and air uh, and water, okay? Yeah, they're being asked to focus in on right now. They're protected along the way, but they're being asked to focus on this new beginning at this moment. I get crystals. They're being asked to focus in on that. Uh, I do get magician energy in their strength position. That's Gemini energy to manifest what they want. Um, they're being asked to focus in on that. It has to do with their foundation. All right, what else? And I do get a message, a message moving forward. All right, um, they've made some sort of discovery. A message of discovery comes through for them. And then this is them moving forward about maybe why they've moved fast. Uh, but they're, well, whatever message that they have, they're moving fast towards calmer waters with the uh, six of, uh, of swords there. They're moving fast towards calmer waters. Give me a little bit more. What do we get? Focusing in on the source uh, and getting out of laziness. They're moving forward and getting out of their head. They're being asked to move forward, get out of their head. Near future, what do we get? date. There could be a date coming through. Ooh, meeting someone new, getting back out there, setting a date. Wow. This is clarity. You Not only did you get clarity, but this person also got clarity, like the sword and the rose. And there's the roses here and the sword and the rose. Uh, but I, they do, I do get clarity. What is it? What's, what's happening with this person? Anything more? Ah, two of cups coming together with an attraction here, guys. Ooh, there's going to be a date, a coming together. 
I feel that this is, there was some sort of ending that you put in place. So did this person, but it's coming together. Some of you maybe got a divorce or getting married again. Others are, this is, uh, you know, uh, relinquishing the past and through new realization moving forward. We're going to find out, you know, here what this person hasn't told you, what they want most, next steps and messages from them. Messages from your side, what you want most, what you haven't told them, what you hope the next steps to be. Uh, a potential outcome with Oracle Advice. Now this week, this looks really good because there's an attraction here after a transformation and an understanding and growth. Um, and I'm going to do what makes this connection work this week and how what Spirit's Advice is to uphold that. So if you want to join me, guys, click the link in the description box below. Note your comments, like, and subscribe. Let me know if this resonates. And until next time, namaste.